Hi, good afternoon. Mark Kerr from the Alpha Group on a fantastic uh, sunny afternoon um, in June uh, in, in the UK. Um, I'm a regional director with the Alpha Group and uh, we help business owners to at least double the value of their business in two to three years. And we do that by helping them to work with other business owners of a similar size and stature in different business sectors. And they work together as a, as a boardroom. Okay, um, so today I'm going to talk about never on a Friday. Um, and it may have, it's probably not what you think it is. Um, the reason that prompted it was I got an email on Friday afternoon and I was really excited to receive it. I was really quite keen to uh, take action on it and to, um, and to get cracking on what I think could be a, a really interesting and exciting project. Um, but then the weekend intervened. Um, Friday night I went out, uh, Saturday I had a gig with my band and uh, of course got very excited about that. Sunday, um, it's always quite interesting because you look at all the photos and videos of your gig. But then we had a family birthday and in the evening I saw Elton John. Why am I telling you all this? Well, because on this morning, when I looked at the, my emails, I, I, I realized that the email from Friday had completely slipped my mind and I'd lost all the energy and all the enthusiasm for implementing uh, what could be, what could lead to a lot of business for me. So, when is the best day to send information or emails or what have you that are gonna both engage people and kickstart them into taking action. As you can see from my case, it may not be a Friday. By the way, nothing works for everybody at all times. So whatever I say here, doesn't mean to say that if you change it to a different day, you're guaranteed to get success, nor that it would never work on a Friday. It's just, um, in general terms, some things do definitely work better than others on, on different days. So, um, for example, another bad day um, may well be um, a Friday afternoon um, in which to organize events or arrange things. Why? Because a lot of people want to get away early on a Friday, and they start the, make a head start on the weekend, and often they're not in the mood to um, look at business. Another bad day as well, possibly, um, in terms, especially in terms of arranging um, regular meetings or networking events, is a Monday. Why a Monday? Well, in the UK, we have a lot of bank holidays that fall on a Monday. And uh, I had a networking group, a B&I group, that changed its meetings to a Monday morning first thing, and the group pretty much fell apart within about three or four months. I think largely because the day wasn't appropriate for what they were doing. So think carefully about the timing of when you send out emails, uh, Eventbrite invitations or anything else like that and bear in mind what the potential customer is doing, looking at and may want to, um, may, when they want to be informed about these kind of things. So um, personally I quite like sending things out on a Tuesday. The reason being they've had a weekend, Monday's done a bit of catching up, Tuesday they're often sort of ready to engage in things and, it, and plus the other thing is if they forget about it on Tuesday they're back at work on Wednesday and Thursday and hopefully they will pick it up again. So <clears throat> this is Mark Kerr from the Alpha Group and uh, signing off and I will see you tomorrow for another, uh, another tip. Okay, bye.